three items I want to visit with you about this evening. Uh, the first of those is an update on the downtown streeteries program. Uh, this public-private partnership is proving to be very popular. So we now have six businesses that are participating uh, since the program started as a pilot project last fall. For those of you that don't know what a streetery is, it's an out it's outdoor restaurant seating located in public parking spaces. Uh, due to the success of both the pilot project and the feedback we've received from participating businesses, uh, the streeteries have become a much more permanent feature downtown. And in March, the city council adopted guidelines concerning uh, the program. The Edmond Economic Development Authority has in initiated a matching grant program to help offset the cost of the improvements to be made by the business owners. Uh, to make the spaces more visually appear appealing, the city partnered with a local artist, Yo Bro, to paint the concrete jersey barriers. For more information on streeteries, you can visit the planning and zoning page on our website, which is edmondok.com. But this program's off to a great start. It has definitely changed the look of downtown. The second item is an update on the Hafer Park AC Kaplinger baseball fields. Uh, the purpose of this project was to improve these fields to uh, tournament quality level, uh, which would allow Edmond to attract more of the tournament market and also provide a higher quality complex for our own recreational leagues. Uh, the pandemic uh, moved the start of this three-phase project back a year, so the first phase will now be this year. Phase one improvements initially included four renovated fields and a new parking lot on the east side. Uh, however, due to cost estimates being significantly over the budget and amount because of the huge spike in material pricing, uh, field one renovations and the parking lot improvements were postponed to phase two. Uh, this revised initial phase is currently in the site review process with uh, Ninety percent plans having been submitted in the last few weeks. Uh, the current time frame is to complete the design and review work by the end of the summer and then award a contract and begin construction on the fields this fall. The total estimated cost for all three phases before the major spike in materials costs was about eight million dollars. Uh, all of that allocated from the 2000 capital improvement sales tax. And then the third item is an update on our sales and use taxes. Uh, the numbers for our first monthly check of the new fiscal year uh, reflect sales for the month of May. And the continuing trend of uh, growing collections uh, is encouraging. Our sales tax revenue increased 8.7% over the same month last year. And that also compares favorably to our 3.25% budget projection for the new budget year. Use tax revenue increased 6.5% from the same month last year, slightly below the 10% annual budget projection. And our combined sales and use tax collections are 8.2% above the first month last year. So we're off to a good start with those two critical revenue sources. 